We're very familiar with the notion of ghost stories, and ghost stories we usually think of in a Western sense. That is um, haunting, chain rattling, uh, white sheeted, floating apparitions. But in the islands, I think we've, we've got a situation in which world cultures fused with the Polynesian Foundation have a far different attitude about ghosts than just the haunting chain rattling. Her sacred name, Kaula Okeahi, means the redness of fire, but most know her as Pele, goddess of Hawaii's volcanoes. In folklore, her spirit often takes the form of a beautiful girl or an old woman with a dog. I think that Pele, of course, is one of the most uh, important and uh, one of the most uh, widely seen of the spirits, uh, not only among Hawaiians, but among all people. And I remember one time having a Japanese-American Nisei tell me that he and his friend were driving around the island coming through Sandy Beach one night when they saw this old Hawaiian woman with her hands up like this in the middle of the road. She was wearing a Chinaman hat and had a long muumuu on, barefoot. They stopped the car, even though they said to each other, hey, well, let's, you know, let's leave her. <laughs> she looked a little too frightening. But she came over to the side of the car, didn't wait to introduce herself, said she needed a ride, and before they could tell her no, because they were going to say no, she opened the door and got in their car with them, in the front seat. Well, she want, they got out and they let her sit in the front seat between the two of them. So there's the driver, the passenger, and this old woman sitting between them. And off they take off, going towards Kaimaki, on that old road by Blowhole. Well, they're drunk. They're still laughing. They're, you know, driving wildly. When the old woman says to the passenger, can I have a cigarette? Because he's got them in his pocket. Well, out comes the cigarette, and she puts it in her mouth, and he goes to get the match when uh, she says, oh, no, I don't need. She cups her hand, and in the palm of her hand, they told me, a fire, hot red glow appeared. She reached up, touched the cigarette to her hand, puffed it, smoked it, and leaned back in her seat with this devilish little smile. Well, suddenly, these two guys are cold, stone, sober. Not a word is said. The guy driving just gets to Kaimaki as fast as he can. The other guy has pushed his body against the car door as far as it'll go. Well, this old woman just enjoying it, smoking her cigarette. Well, they drive into Kaimaki, pull up behind a taxi driver, jump out, get her out of the car, and say, no, wherever else you want to go, he'll take you. They get back in the car, and they're screaming their heads off. Did you see what she did with her hands? Well, the next night, they went back to find from the taxi driver where they took that old woman. And the taxi driver told them that when they pulled up last night to Kaimaki, they got out of the car, pointed at him, spoke to something that wasn't there, got back in the car, and drove off. There was no old woman in that car that night. Well, when they told me that story several years ago, they were quite convinced that Pele appeared on the highway, scared them just enough to sober them up, and got them home safely. And that's why she appeared on the highway. If you listen to a ghost story and feel something inside you going on, what that is going on inside you is the hope and the anticipation that the story is true. The more uncanny it becomes isn't when people turn away from them. That's when their anticipations and their hopes become even more intense. The ghost story provides that. It is that vision of what goes on beyond death.